Welcome to the official release video for the Institutional Trading eBooks. I will answer several different questions regarding the methods so you can make an educated decision about purchasing one or multiple books. Please watch the video until the end so you have as much information as possible and also to understand the release promotion and the pricing for the eBooks. Let's move on to the first question. How do I know these methods? I came to understand these methods when I dove into the specific literature about finance and econometrics of financial time series. On top of that, I met a former chief of a large options trading desk from HSBC Canada, and he helped me greatly on what to study and what paths to take in the institutional world. Obviously, these methods are not an invention of mine. They are part of a specific portion of the scientific literature. Question number two. Can I trust these methods? If the large institutions like banks and hedge funds trust such methods, it's not difficult to see how retail traders can also trust them. These techniques and strategies are the best that science has to offer in terms of dealing with the financial markets. These things are not merely an invention of internet gurus like most things you see out there with technical analysis. They are part of the international scientific consensus about how the financial markets work and how to trade them professionally. Question number three. Where do these methods come from? All institutional methods are rooted in one or more Nobel Prize winning ideas. And that means a lot since the Nobel Prize is the most prestigious award in science. An idea or concept only wins the Nobel Prize if it dramatically changes what we know about the world. That should give you an idea about the reliability of the institutional trading methods. Question number four, are they difficult to learn? The institutional trading methods are deeply embedded in the literature about finance and the econometrics of financial time series. And getting to know these ideas through the formal literature can be difficult due to the level of sophistication of these books and the heavy mathematical notation. However, I try to minimize this problem by focusing more on the practical aspect of the institutional methods while maintaining the mathematical notation to a minimum, and perhaps most importantly, by focusing on the rough intuitions behind the formulas. In that way, it's a lot easier to learn these strategies. Question number five. Can I find frequent trade opportunities? You can probably find many more opportunities than what you can handle in one single time. So it's a matter of filtering out the opportunities. Question number six. What markets can I trade with them? The volatility trading, gamma scalping, and vega scalping methods are meant to be used in the stock market in alignment with the stock options market, even though the same rationale can be used in other markets with slight changes in the mathematical concept. The statistical arbitrage method is meant to be used with stocks because they provide a greater variety of opportunities, but you can use it with anything you wish. Question number seven. Are these methods mechanical or are they subjective? One of the highlights of the institutional trading methods is their objectivity. That's the case because there is not a lot of room for subjectivity inside a bank, for example. If you are after a highly mechanical trading method, the institutional methods are a good choice. However, please know that just because something is mechanical doesn't mean that you can follow a quick recipe. It's a little more complicated than that. Question number eight. Why aren't these methods popular if they are so good? The institutional trading methods are not popular precisely because they have many mathematical and statistical prerequisites, and that's a barrier for people to learn them. This is why I attempted to teach these methods by focusing more on the practical side instead of using too much mathematics and statistics. You'll find that the practice of these methods is a lot simpler than the mathematics at their core. Just like you can drive your car without knowing exactly how the transmission works, for example, you can use the institutional trading methods without being a PhD in mathematics or statistics. Question number nine. Can the retail trader compete with the institutional trader? In certain situations, the retail trader can be in a position of advantage in relation to the institutional player because the retail trader doesn't have to deal with strict regulations. That requires, however, that the retail trader learns the institutional methods very well. Question number 10. What are the differences between the methods? The first three methods are related to hedging and the fourth method is related to arbitrage. 
Hedging is about eliminating certain risks depending on the market scenario you want to trade and your goals, and it's one of the best ways of managing risk. Arbitraging is a way to exploit the difference between two markets by using an equation, which turns out to be very useful for a variety of different reasons. Question number 11. Do the books overlap? The three books about hedging have some overlap because they are based on the same ideas, but the strategies are different. The statistical arbitrage book sort of stands on its own. Question number 12. What is the best order to learn them? For the hedging books, I recommend that you learn volatility trading first and then move on to gamma scalping and vega scalping after. You can learn the statistical arbitrage book without any other. Question number 13. Can I use it with price action? As you'll see in the books, there is no point using these methods in combination with price action because price action is a method of speculation. When it comes to hedging and arbitrage, there is simply no need to use speculative techniques because the focus and the problems that appear are completely different. Question number 14. How are they different than price action trading? Price action trading is a method of retail speculation and it's a combination of objective line work with subjective contextual market reading through price charts. Institutional methods are ways of hedging or arbitraging, which are completely different approaches than speculation. They are much more mechanical and they don't necessarily require the use of price charts. It's hard to even compare price action with the institutional methods because they are so much different from each other. Question number 15. Didn't you say that scalping is bad? How come you are teaching scalping techniques now? Scalping in the way that is done in the retail trading world is indeed very bad because it has some fundamental errors in the risk management structure of operations. Institutional scalping, on the other hand, is almost like the opposite of retail scalping. These fundamental problems that appear in retail scalping are dealt with in a very intelligent way to the point where scalping indeed becomes reliable in the long term when it comes to institutional scalping. Question number 16. Why ebooks and not video courses? Books are a lot quicker to produce, and many people ask me for PDF transcriptions of the video courses. So, writing ebooks instead of producing video courses seem to be a better means to transmit the information about the institutional trading methods. Question number 17. What are the advantages of using institutional methods in relation to retail methods? Some institutional methods that involve hedging allow you to remove the directional risk of the market, meaning that you don't have to worry if the market is going to rise or fall because you make money in both situations. Obviously, there is more to it, but that's more than possible with these methods. Methods that involve arbitrage allow you to be neutral to the market and always trade a sideways market despite the fact that the market might be trending or not. That might seem weird, but it's also possible with these powerful institutional methods. These strategies are much more robust in terms of their mathematical backbone, meaning that there's a lot of hard science that hold these ideas in place. That's good because it's easy to trust the methods. Once you learn how they work, they are actually easier to apply than a price action analysis, weirdly enough. Retail methods are easier to learn, but they are more difficult to apply because of the subjectivity. Institutional methods are more difficult to learn because of the mathematics and statistics, but well, once you do learn, applying them is easier because of the objectivity that these methods bring. Question number 18. What are the disadvantages? One disadvantage of these methods is that you need a platform with analysis algorithms and execution algorithms because some of the calculations cannot be made fast enough manually. The most reliable brokers that deal with stocks and stock options will provide these solutions. Question number 19. Are the books long? No, the ebooks are very short and straight to the point, very focused on the issues that matter and excluding unnecessary information. Question number 20. Where can I find more information? You can visit my website fractalflowpro.com to see more information about the books, like the table of contents, for example. Question 21. What's the price of the books? The retail price for these strategies will be $198 each, but I will do a release promotion starting right now with 50% discount, so you'll be able to get each method for $99. To 
This promotion will last for four days. You can access the courses in the new Fractal Flow Store link in the video description. If you access the website, you'll see that the books are priced with the 198 price tag, but the 50% discount is already in place if you enter the shopping cart link directly. Question 22. Is there support? As usual, I can provide direct email support and in the future, I'll do some type of Q&A. It's normal to have many questions while learning these methods because it's a completely different way of viewing the markets. So it takes some time to get used to this new language and intuition about how things function. I have spent the last nine months or so studying and writing these books in the best way I can. And I do think they are powerful in many ways as they contain dozens of highly important lessons about the financial markets. By apprehending these books, I guarantee that you will know more than what 99.9% .9 of the retail traders do. So that's it for this video. The promotion is already in place, so I hope you enjoyed the ebooks. Thank you for watching and take care.